Recording. Hey, hey, welcome back to the channel, everybody. Uh, today I am going for a little ride, uh, just doing some exploring and uh, a little bit of commentary. Don't know where I'm going. Actually, I do know where I'm going, but I really don't uh, have any particular place to go. So before we get into it, here's a message from our channel sponsors. There, that was the message. There are no channel sponsors anymore. I got rid of them. Um, my personal humble opinion is commercials in YouTube at, or YouTube shows are ruining YouTube. So I got rid of the sponsors. I'm giving pure content. I'm keeping it real. Um, I wish a lot more YouTubers would keep it real. Uh, the little tiny bit of swag you get from people uh, is not worth changing the direction of your channel. Uh, keep it real. Uh, you know, nothing worse than getting halfway through somebody's, uh, somebody's video and it turning into a five minute Jackery ad or an ad for fucking boner pills or whatever you, uh, whatever they end up pimping out for the man. So this channel from about six months ago forward is completely ad free. Well, you're going to get the YouTube ads, but you're not going to get me pimping anything. Early on in the game, I, uh, I sort of got sucked into the, the glory of having free stuff offered to me. And I did a couple of commercials for a, a couple various companies and, uh, that's no longer, uh, so now we can get into the show. Here I am driving uh, along the power lines. I saw something on Google Maps that I wanted to explore and that's what I'm doing. So sit back and enjoy the show, people. Thank you for listening to my rant about sponsor content and how it makes people's YouTube videos complete shit. These are the power lines directly off exit 5A on Highway 103. Uh, five, uh, the Highway 103 is over there. I'm going to go down here. Don't know where I'm going. Don't know where I'm going to end up. But we'll end up somewhere. And those are the best videos is where you end up in a dead end and don't know where the hell you're going. I wanted to thank you all for, uh, for commenting on my last video. And look at this. Dead end. Dead end, dead end. Uh, yeah, commenting on my last video, I asked, uh, you know, do you want me to shut up? Do you want me to keep talking? What do you want? And it was an overwhelming response for people saying, keep the commentary up. It's somewhat amusing. Oh, man, I don't know where I'm going, but I'm going this way. And I'm going to pop it into four-wheel drive, because, just because. I should, there. should be over there, but I'm over here, so let's see what happens. I think we're going to hear some skid plate music today. Uh, oh, there's bugs everywhere. Oh, yeah, see skid plate music. Play the song of the skid plate, and I am not going to cross this. So we're going to back up, and we're going to go back the other way. 
Oh, sorry about that tree. Oh, I'm steaming up pretty hard already. I don't know what the temperature is, but it's rather warm. Oh, it's pretty steep. <laughs> I did the old brap brap. All right, so that trail is, where the hell did it go? It's right here. That's the fun thing about going out alone is uh, you can just go down every little trail and not have to worry about everybody turning around and all that. I like this steep uphill here. It's getting rocky, you can tell. Yeah, I'm going to take the bridge. I prefer not to pollute up streams with my buggy. So we're going to take this little pallet bridge. Talking about pallets, I have uh, pretty much an unlimited supply of pallets that I have access to. Oh, excuse me while I get up this hill. Um, and I bought a pallet jack, a pallet breaker. It... Uh, the thing that slips onto the slats because pallets are notoriously hard to uh, to break without screwing the wood up. So I have a lot of pallets at home and I'm going to have a lot more pallets. So I got the easy way of breaking them apart and getting the usable wood out of them. I am going to build a pallet camp. Um, I'd say it would be six feet wide by... Uh, eight to ten feet long, maybe six feet high, slanted, uh, corrugated metal roof, all out of pallets. There's a guy on YouTube, don't know his name, um, if you just search on YouTube, Pallet Camp, it's absolutely stunning what this guy does. And, uh, yeah, so it'll be a few months of prepping. Oh, fuck. Whoa. <laughs> It'll be a few months of prepping, of uh, getting the pallets, busting them up. And once I get enough to... Oh, I got to open my little, little there. Ooh, it was a steam bath. Um, once I get, uh, get enough wood to, to at least get it started, I'm going to do ooh, the step-by-step -step build, pretty much copying what uh, the other people on YouTube. Oh yeah, yeah, so I'm gonna pretty much copy the guy's camp because why uh, Why reinvent the wheel? He even takes the, uh, the stringers and makes joists, floor joists out of them. And uh, yeah, does a pretty decent job. Look at this, it's all bouldery and it's pretty cool over here. I've come past here uh, in the rain and these lines all sizzle which is kind of neat just shows the power going through them I've heard them sizzling I'm sure y'all back here have heard the same thing yeah I'm just taking my time here Get a bit of fresh air. Ooh, now which way do I go? Which way do I go? This way. 
right. Yeah, this is skid plate heaven. Makes me wonder. I wonder if uh, if Frederick from uh, Perfex Industries in Quebec ended up making uh, oh look new bridge here uh, ended up making a uh, full skid plate with A-arms for brute force 750s. I checked his website, uh, I don't know, a few weeks ago because I would like to get some A-arm protection. It may be overkill for what I do, but if it can save anything on the bike. See, I have no idea where I'm going here now. I don't think I've been this far back. But we're going to see. There's lots of horse flies out already. Oh, fuck. Welcome to Nova Scotia, Boulder land. Now what's that back there? I see something. Oh, it's just a birch tree. Bang, bang, bang goes the skid plates. Oh, fuck. I could have went around that one. I probably should have went around that one. Yeah, the horse flies are pissed. <laughs> oh, fuck. Look at this. Yeah. All right. If it's much more of this, I'm turning around. Because it's no fun. Yeah, the horse flies are wicked here. They're buzzing me like... Uh, Oh, yeah, okay. Oh. Yeah, I don't know how deep that is. I'm turning around. Let's go back. Uh, oh, shit, look at this. There's a way, there's a path right here. Look at that. This is no fun beating the shit out of myself here. I'm going to turn around. But where do I turn around? Oh, this is so fucking sketchy. Come on, baby. There we go. That's what, that's what we wanted to do. Whoo, that was sketchy as fuck. Cause this is like, boink. All right. All right, yeah, that's too rocky. No fun. And I can't go faster than the bugs. So that's a thing, right? 
I sprayed myself down with this lemon-scented anti-tick shit that the wife's got. But, uh, I don't know how good that is. Oh, fuck. All right. Well, at least you guys got a view down this trail. Yeah, it's very unenjoyable. Beaten over these rocks that have been beaten down. At one time, it was probably all flush, but the years of uh, ATVs and sleds and dirt bikes and whatever the hell, whatever the hell else uh, comes back here moves the dirt away off the rocks. The rocks don't go anywhere. And, oh, this is what we got. Oh, holy shit. That was uh, something. So this was a sample of going along the power lines. In the uh, Tantallon area in Nova Scotia. I was going to rate this out of 10, I'd give it a 4, because doing rock crawling, you know, it's got its time, it's got its place, but right now is not the time, right now is not the place, uh, well the right now is the place, because it's all we fucking do. Wipe the old camera off. Yeah, there's some angry bugs. Angry flying big bugs after me. They will all uh, calm down in the heat of the summer. But it's just summer beginning right now and they're all fucking horny, so... They're wanting to bite shit and bring it back to their babies and the back of my neck is not up for buffet, so I'm officially out of here. Intercom failed. Try again later. Okay, whatever. My shoulder just hit the camera and made the woman inside the camera spout off at me. She's always yelling at me for something. <sighs> So I got the house to myself tonight, so I think I might uh, get myself a Donair. If you guys don't know what a Donair is, Google Halifax Donair. It is the most godly food that uh, anybody can shove down their neck. So it's highly spiced, sort of peppery, garlicky uh, hamburger meat in a loaf, shaved off of almost like a kebab. Oh, fuck. Um, with, uh, oh, oh, that went deep. Um, so it's sliced, thinly sliced donair meat. Uh, they flash it up in a frying pan. Uh, it's got, uh, it's, it's in a pita, almost like a wrap. 
it's got tomatoes, it's got onions, and it has this amazing sweet sauce. It's almost like tzatziki sauce, but uh, um, it's made out of condensed milk. Look at a little froggy. Um, it's made of condensed milk, sugar, and garlic powder, and vinegar. So what that does, is you mix it all up and you stir it real lightly. It's, uh, it's like in a creamy sort of uh, thick ketchupy consistency sauce, but it's white. So you pour it all throughout the meat and yeah, it's delicious. Um, in Canada, across the country, there are other people that attempt to make this Halifax Stone Air and it's an epic failure. They've fucking put lettuce on it which is a big no-no they put cheese on it also a big no-no they try and put pepperoni on it you know the further the further west you get in canada the more fucked up the halifax don't air gets so what i said is the halifax don't air don't listen to anybody else because that's what it is um i will make a video of a halifax don't air and show you guys because it's it's epic I love this downhill here. Except for it's so rocky. So comment below. Um, what do you guys have in your loca location that's the that's the uh, the delicacy, the the local delicacy that other regions try and copy? Oh, come on, get up over there. But their copy is an epic failure. So what's your location's um, really local food that's popular elsewhere in the world that when you have it somewhere else in the world, it's just like, it's like comparing a, a barbecued hamburger to a McDonald's hamburger. It's just, it's just terrible. So yeah, let's... Uh, Let's hear what you guys have to say about that. Ah, oh, I get some airflow now. So yeah, I think that uh, once I get to the end of this trail, I am going to uh, cut the ATV portion of the video and I'm going to go get a donair because uh, Mrs. Brutes uh, at her cottage and, and I'm bachelor in it tonight so I get to eat like shit. So I will get a donair and I'm going to show you guys what it's all about. In fact, comment below if you guys ever get, if you're not in the Halifax area of Nova Scotia, even other parts of Nova Scotia completely fuck Donairs up. Like, some people, like, places in Toronto call it a donor kebab, and it's not a, a Halifax Donair. A Halifax Donair is very specific. Um, yeah. I heard of places out west in Alberta, BC, places called the Halifax Stone Air Shop. No. I, no, it's, it's, it's not. So, yeah, if you guys have a local place that sells Halifax Stone Airs, get one. Send me pictures uh, on, you know, Instagram. My, my Instagram is, uh, at BruteForce underscore Explorer. Uh, 
if you the, if you uh, don't follow me on Insta, do it. Uh, I I post a bunch of shit on there once in a while. Uh, you can always DM me if you got something to say. You don't want to post on the channel. Want to curse me out? You want to give me a high five? Whatever. <laughs> Send it to me in Insta. Splish splash. All right, I'm getting back in two wheel drive because this is the end of the trail. All right, so that was uh, it was a fun little ride, but uh, as far as exploration goes, I'm ticking this trail off my bucket list and never going down again because there's nothing really to see other than fucking getting the shit beat out of your bike and your arms pulled out of your sockets. I'm, I'm glad I got this power steering. Otherwise, uh, my arms be ripped out of my sockets. Okay, so don't go anywhere. If you stick around and see what a Halifax Stone Air is like. Thanks for watching, folks. All right, folks. So as mentioned on my buggy ride, uh, I'm headed to one of the best spots in Halifax uh, to pick up a large donair. I'm hungry. As you can tell, big boy, got to eat. Uh, so yeah, I'm headed to Ricardo's in Tantalan and I will let you know when I'm there. All right, folks, there's only one place in the world to get donairs and that's in Halifax. Um, and there's only one place in Halifax to get donairs and it's Ricardo's. This is the fucking joint. This is the place to get it. Stay tuned. All right, folks, I am here at Ricardo's on Peggy's Cove Road and I'm talking to my man Tafik and I got some questions to ask him. Uh, donairs. Yep. What don't you put on them? What you don't put on them? Yeah. Do you, do you put uh, do you put cheese on them? Absolutely, you can put cheese on them. But should you? No. What about lettuce? No. Good. Uh, can you get a Halifax Donair that's actually a Halifax Donair anywhere other than Halifax? <laughs> I don't think so, my friend. Okay, yep. that's good, my man. Yep. Um, Halifax Donair is the only place you can get them. It isn't Halifax. Any place outside of Halifax that tells you they sell donairs, they're front. They're not real donairs. That's right. That's right. Like, can you get one out west? No. I, I lived out west for seven years. I've tried their donairs, and it's junk. It's Good. shit. Their donair sauce yep. is. It's not even donair sauce. Okay. And the you you heard it here first. All right. I'm gonna show you when I get back to the kitchen table. All right. Got the donair, folks. On the way back to the homestead. Pretty stoked. All right, folks, here's the grand unveiling. I see the, you can see the dog there waiting for a bite. We're gonna rip this open and I'm gonna show you what this Donair ship's all about. Extra cup of sauce. That's Donair sauce. So this is a, a hefty wrapped in tin foil log of goodness. Traditionally, you're supposed to be standing on a street corner at 2 a.m. on a Saturday night, downtown Halifax, eating it like an ice cream cone, but I don't do that because it's just too messy and these are messy to say the least. So, what I do is I get all the tin foil that's holding all the, the sloppy goodness in. I grab the, uh, I grab the Donair. Get the tin foil out of the way, and there you go. I wash my hands, as you can see. Um, you can see all my dogs uh, hunting around. Grab a piece of meat, throw it in your yacht. And this is a Halifax donor. As you can see, you got tomatoes, you got onions, diced up. You got the awesome shaved donair meat. 
and uh, Ricardo's is the place to be. Not a channel sponsor, just I'm a huge fan. Uh, there's a lot of other pizza joints around that kind of suck. Um, some are too fancy, cater to rich folks. Ricardo's is the meat for the real people. Oh my God, this is so good. So I'm going to wolf this down, folks. And uh, I hope you now understand what a real Halifax Donair looks like. And I'm going to put some more, more sauce onto it just because the sauce is heavenly. So this is it. Shout out to the people at Ricardo's. One more piece of meat for the road. Oh, hell yeah. Like, share, subscribe. And you guys thought I wasn't going to give a piece to the dogs. Hey, Lola. Oh, she likes that. She's blind. So you got to sort of put it right in her mouth. And this is Buzzy. There you go, buddy. Enjoy. Like, share, subscribe.